Back here at Media Day Live, joined by the William Mary Tribe head coach Mike London. We have Corey Parker on set, student athlete, and Mark Williamson. Gentlemen, welcome to Media Day. Have you enjoyed yourself so far? It's been an awesome experience. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been great so far. Yeah, have you guys been into the social station in there, the play the video games or anything like uh, that? No, not yet. I think no? that's what our plan Oh, that's is what's next? Yeah, okay. The Wii's in there. So you got tennis, you got all those fun games. So you'll go one on one. I want to hear who won later, okay? I've been practicing. You've been practicing? Okay, <laughs> good. Just for this moment. Well, first, we got to welcome back Coach London. Welcome back to the CAA. Uh, you know, the, obviously, everybody remembers we coaching at Richmond, won a national title. What is it like, first of all, to be back? And has much really changed in this conference since you've been well, gone? Well, first of all, thanks. It's great to be back yeah. uh, to a place that uh, gave me my first job, my first full time coaching opportunity with Coach Laycock. Uh, I'm from Hampton, Virginia. My wife's from Newport News, Virginia. Mm -hmm. So being home is uh, it, it's 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 fantastic. Um, you know where you started out from. Life is cyclical sometimes, <laughs> yes, and then you know here we are back again. But I'm excited about the challenges and the opportunities at a place uh, like William and Mary, and and having guys like this on the team makes it all worthwhile as well. What what's it been like? I mean, as, as you've kind of got your feet under, you walk in the door, you start recruiting. I mean, there's no stop, right? There's no kind of get adjusted it's not like taking the goldfish in the bag right and putting it in the tank and letting it sit there and acclimate you just go no you got to go i mean you got to recruit you have to uh hire the coaches you got to make sure your staffs uh uh whoever's helping you that's that's complete your schemes your systems all those things are are put into place uh your your culture your philosophy uh all those things and then uh and then by way of that, my wife bought two Bernice Mountain right, Dogs. You so, you know, so now I'm doing all that, you know, I'm doing all that now too. So, but, uh, but no, it's, uh, it's been, uh, it's been nonstop, but uh, I'm enjoying it. Corey, obviously having a new coach, uh, you know, your senior season, what has this off season been like maybe compared to all the past three off seasons? Yeah. Uh, coach London, the, the energy has been absolutely great. Uh, his philosophies have just been awesome. I'm, I'm really excited that, that he's here. Um, He's a great man, a great leader, a great coach, and uh, I'm really excited what we have in store for the season. All right, big fella. Uh, All right. All right. Yeah, you, yeah. You're super excited to be here, I can tell. And, and look, look, one of the things, you know, nobody sees what happens now, right? Everybody sees Saturday, right, or Friday nights or Sunday or whatever it is, right? And the amount of preparation that student athletes have to put into being ready to go, along with the academic challenges, look, William & Mary, is no slouch when it comes to the classroom, right? I, I grew up in Virginia Beach. They did not recruit me. My academics <laughs> were not quite at that level, right? So talk a little bit, though, about what what you've been doing for the last couple months to get ready for this season. Well, uh, Coach London brought in a, a great coach uh, lifting staff with uh, Kier and, and Scott and Eric, and, and they've just been you know studying the game and studying our offense and, and you know, how the, our workouts can correlate on the field and, uh, you know, as you talk, stated earlier, we have a lot of guys here this summer and uh, almost a record uh, amount of guys, I believe, that have just bought into the process. And with the new coaching staff, there's opportunity and uh, everybody's hunger, hungry to make uh, like a, a really big, successful, uh, historic season at the college. As, as a group, as an as a, as a offensive line unit, what's it like? That's, a, that's its own team within a team. Right? You've kinda, what's your group look like this year? Well, I mean, you kind of said it, the, the offensive line, all five guys have to be on the same page or somebody's getting hit. Um, you know, we have a, a phenomenal O-line coach uh, that I'm really excited about, uh, and Coach Samus that is one of the smartest guys I've ever met uh, in the football world. And, you know, our offensive line, with we have some veterans like Nick Wimmer and Dan Evers who have been working this offseason to kind of perfect the craft and, you know, get after it this uh, training camp and just get ready for Lafayette. Coach, speaking offensively, you bring in a different philosophy than they've had here in the past. Uh, what, what do you like to do on that side of the ball? What would you like to see from this offense? Well, I mean, obviously, you, you want to score points, and one of the things we want to do is want to be a high, uh, high tempo, up tempo, uh, run a lot of plays in the game. We want to stretch the the, uh, the defense vert vertically and horizontally. We were mm -hmm. spread defense, uh, offense, excuse me, that uh, that want to try to create mismatches. Mm -hmm. We want to, uh, our running backs and slot receivers to get uh, to get out in the flats and get in those those areas where you got the safeties and the linebackers have to tackle them one on one. So, and we want to do it in fast pace to, to minimize. Defense is getting ready for uh, for what we uh, you know for the calls. So uh, it's been fun. Uh, we 
hopefully put a lot of points up. Um, defensively, we want to flip it and also mm -hmm. keep the points down. Mm -hmm. um, our defense is a 3-4 defense, which is you know, slant and angle, two-gap, um, pressure. So there's a lot of things that are incorporated with the defense. And our special teams will be sort of unconventional. We're going to do some formational things that, uh, that challenge some people. So we're excited about guys like this. Um, Mark didn't tell you that I just wrote him a, uh, a recommendation letter for the police department up in the uh, we won't tell what area because I'm a former police officer. So <laughs> if you don't get the job, man, I'm going to be I'm going to be upset. All right, I'm going to be upset about that. But where were we? I forgot. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know. We were talking uh, defense yeah, yeah. and spread and, and all that <laughs> fun is. stuff. <laughs> well, it, it, look, the, the challenge week in and week out, Corey, in the CAA, and you've been in the CAA. You've been in the CAA for a while now too. What's it like? I mean, to have to prepare every week. There are no, there are no ones that you just go. All right, we're going to get through this one to the next one. What's that like? Yeah, no, there's, there's certainly no slouches in this conference. Um, every week is a grind preparing for, for different teams, different personnel, uh, what trick plays the team may have. Uh, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're blessed with great coaches that are going to put us in the best position possible. Um, we have hardworking players, hardworking smart players, too, that are, that are also in the film room uh, really getting after. So, I mean, it's definitely no slouch week to week. Um, uh, but we're ready for the challenge. Yeah, we're ready to go. Well, Corey Purcell, you've had quite a successful career heading into your senior year. You've been into such a big playmaker on this defense. And what are some of your goals as you head into your final season here with the Tribe? Yeah, uh, I mean, just play within myself. Um, make sure I'm, I'm listening to my to my coaches. Uh, for sure, you know, what I mean, staying healthy is number one. Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. a being a playmaker, being a playmaker across the field, doing whatever I can, short tackling, interceptions, for fumbles, from recoveries. Whatever I can do to, to help out the team, uh, whatever position I can play. All right, you ready? I'm I love this for alignment. All right, so this is this is good. So yeah, I know you are warmed up. I like it. All right, this one's not fun when there's little skinny guys up here. What's your go-to meal during camp? That's a lot of meals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. I think I would have to go with uh, my roommate, uh, our center last year, Nick Wimmer, makes a, a chicken parm pasta. Homemade, uh, and I don't have to do any work because he cooks it. Even better, and it's phenomenal. I, you know, I could use one right now. It's, it's, it's good. Making me hungry. I missed <laughs> breakfast. What about you? You're a little, little different. Probably not as much. <laughs> um, my go-to meal. Um, honestly, my mom makes us lasagna, and I promise it's the greatest like dish. Does of she all bring time. it to you? To yeah, camp? she brings it down. Wow. Uh, Sometimes they go down to Richmond, and uh, if I can meet them halfway, she'll come down to visit, and she'll drop off a whole bunch of food. You got a good food. mom. An That's amazing, amazing. An amazing Absolutely. mother. Absolutely. I hope she's mother. watching this and yeah. heard that. Uh, yeah. She'll hey, bring mom. a little bit more. <laughs> what about you, Coach? Do you get to eat at all during camp? It's uh, not just coffee. Well, it's not just coffee. It might be some kibbles and bits, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes. uh, no, With it's – uh, yeah. <laughs> <mountain dogs>, Absolutely. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's whatever the – the meal of the day is, I mean, obviously, but um, I'm, I'm listening to these guys, true student athletes and connoisseurs. Of, I like uh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's pretty good. That though. was good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And they're home cooked meals, too. Home I mean, other, guy, other guys have been up here, have been talking about the cafeteria and stuff. Home you got, cooked. and the, the offensive line, like you said, it's a different group. Oh, I've been it's, saying it's, it's, it's the best. I was always just, jealous. Look, I, I'm a D, I'm a D lineman, center, I, yeah. but that group was always the yeah. I hung out with O-Lime in my entire career. I really did. The center is cooking. You should see, they team. went to a, yeah. to a pool, a local pool, yeah. and you know where the oh. water line normally is. <laughs> All of a sudden, the water line was like, it was over, overflowing. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. And it was like nine guys in the pool, too, you know? So Olympic-sized pool. How's it overflow, you know? So, exactly. Like that's a good size. If you got a big group, <laughs> right. that's a good thing. I'm telling you. Coach, uh, you were part of the national championship team in Richmond, and I know it's been a few years, but what are your impressions of the CAA now, and especially hearing that six teams go to the playoffs last year, and do you enjoy the challenge of coaching in this conference? Uh, without a doubt, the, the CAA is the strongest F FCS conference there is. You, you look at the national champions that are in the conference, coaches of the year, um, players that have gone on and done great things. Um, the league is very competitive, mm -hmm. and we play Five of our, our opponents are preseason uh, top 25 and they're from the CAA. Um, good coaches that have been in a lot of different places, and uh, they brought good staffs with them as well. So yeah. it's a you know it's a league to be reckoned with. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, it's it's a, it's premier in the FCS conference, and the ability to go on to the next level and reach the playoffs, mm -hmm. anything can happen. And yeah. uh, I had a great opportunity to experience that with the ultimate prize, but um, there's a lot of good coaches in this conference that can that can take their teams to the next level.
Excellent. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today here at Media Day Live. Go enjoy the social station. It's a lot of fun. They put a lot of work thank into you. that. So have yeah. a great time. Stay healthy this season and have a great year. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for having us. us. Appreciate right. it. Absolutely. We're gonna step